okay so dml operation is as we told like how we can insert the records how we can update the records how we can delete the records how we can mm -hmm. undelete the records by using programming that is dml operation right we can divide we can say divide these things into two types single dml operations and bulk dml operations what is mean by single dml operations means if you insert only one record that code will support uh to insert only one record means that is a single dml operation okay, okay. bulk dml mm -hmm. operation means that code can handle multiple uh, multiple records at a time that means that code can insert multiple records at a time so that is something called mm -hmm. bulk dml operation but we won't use this single dml operations at all we will be using the bulk dml dml operation because our code we will write the code um, in a way that our code has to handle multiple records so bulkification is the best practices of apex so whenever we are writing any code our code has to handle multiple records okay. for example i want to perform uh, like 100 uh, 100 uh, record updates at a time means yes it has to happen so we need to write the code like that first we will write uh, the single dml operation how we can write the single dml operation okay so previously we have performed uh, so how we can for example my scenario is i want to insert a one account record one account record for that account my acc is equal to new account first we are creating a instance of that instance of that account so after that by using that instance i am going to access this fields fields of that account fields of that object so my acc dot of name is equal to test my acc dot of website is equal to test website so this is the mandatory field which we need to give uh mm -hmm. so this is the uh, like mm, this is optional like whether you can able to add or not so that's why i just take a simple simple field so that's the reason if you want to add you can add uh, our other fields also is a lot of phone i hope phone has to be there so if you want to perform the uh, dml operation means if you want to insert a record the keyword is insert insert mm -hmm. my instance like my object my my uh, acc so if i execute this one let's so oh. when you want to perform a bulk dml operations mm -hmm. that means we have to use the for loops okay wow. because because i want to uh, i i want to iterate those records for example i want to update 100 records okay that is my scenario i want to update 100 records means those whatever the records i am going to fetch i'll fetch those records and after that i will uh, perform the operations on that record one by one it will perform the loopings once mm -hmm. the loop was completed my my uh, my operation was ended like that we have to let's see how we can do that how we can perform this bulk dml operations so just now we have performed the insert operations right okay right. let's perform uh update operation so if you want to perform the insert operation for example my scenario is i want to insert uh 10 account records let's consider i want to insert 10 account records so let's see how we can do that uh insert 10 account records this is my scenario how we can perform means okay first we need to uh first we have to use the for loops for for let's initialize i is equal to 0 i less than or equal to 10 i plus plus okay right here then records here in inside of this i'll be okay. creating account mm -hmm. acc is equal to okay. new yeah. account so like we are performing instant acc dot of name mm -hmm. i'm accessing the field so that's wow. why it will execute 10 times for example if i have i want to insert 200 records what will happen so it will execute 200 yeah. times right so that mm -hmm. that time what will happen it will let's see yeah. let's let's consider this 200 times let's. we have to yeah initialize the yeah, here itself we can initialize that why we need yeah. to go here yeah yeah okay
will provide you the governor limit like it will hit the governor limits actually we cannot perform that many ml operations yeah we cannot save the records because record changes and also we have a maximum limit for this future we cannot do that because it has a dml exceptions that means we can perform only 150 dml operations so what will happen i am going to add my list my list dot of add i am going to add this record into my list okay okay so now what will happen i equal to 0 so new account was created then my account is test something zero test zero and test website so this acc will add it here after that i plus plus after that it will check for this one less than is equal to 10 yes now the instance was created then test one like that now the acc the new record is, will be added in this list so like that it will all add it or add all the records into this list okay then okay. what we need to do means outside of this for loop so outside of this for loop outside of this for loop we will perform insert we will insert this list this in, entire list we are going to insert bulk this is bulkification like how many records you can create you can create okay so now this is about insert operations right let's the, like little bit complex things now i'm going to update some records let's take it as a opportunity like we are performing only on a um, account right let's go to the opportunity so what is my like we are going to we need to fetch the records uh, the stage is new and we have to update the type as a new customer okay so this is for that we 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 are bulk we are performing the bulk operations right we are not uh like fetching only one record so we don't know how many records we are going to fetch so that yeah. is also bulkification so first now what i have done i have performed the sql query and i yeah. have to assign this to a list okay i want to assign this to a list uh -huh. so for that get a list and we can assign yeah. here but uh, then uh, we can directly do it also like list this is which records what is the data type here so now what i'm going to do means i'll be creating some for loop so here we are not using the traditional for loop i already told you we will be using that for loop which we will be using in apex class mostly we will be using this type of opportunity opportunity so let's give any variable uh, for example opp i am going to iterate this my list so what will happen means so whatever the records will be there so those records will iterate one by one i don't know how many records will be there in this list like but how many records maybe five records or 10 records how many whatever the records it will iterate one by one now we will open the braces here we have to perform the operation what we need to perform now what is our concept like whenever uh, this uh, uh, stage is new what we have no. to perform we cannot as per the apex best practices we cannot use the dml operations inside of the for loop and also sql queries inside of the for loop okay so you have to remember that let's execute opportunity where stage no such, stage, I'm no such stage, column stage stage I mean, name stage. i think i think stage yeah. name yeah. i think yeah. uh, i guess stage name uh stage name i guess and here in the field also you have to query a stage name where select id comma name comma type comma stage name ha 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 okay and valid opportunity so opportunity 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 okay 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 sure. okay you yeah, have successfully performed Hmm. Now, let's go to the opportunity. So, let's check for the new. There is no stage as a new. You had one open. If you would have refreshed it. Oh my God! Okay, let's see all. 
Oh. Okay, blank. here the stage is uh, new. So type is black. So let's execute this one because this is, this is new, right? Let's execute this one. Where it is? Okay, it's executed. Now come here. This is the record. This is stage is new. Type is blank. So so that that is the DML operations. Currently, how many records have a new? So that will retrieve those records. That will uh, this will retrieve those records and it will update those operations. Whatever the okay. logic, it, it will be there. So that will execute and um, it will update um, like once. So here we have performed only one TML operation, but we have updated here. I don't know, like in this list, only one record will be there. But if we have a hundred records also, it will update uh -huh. with a single TML operation. One TML operation, it can update. Okay. Right. Right. So this is about, this is how we can update. We can perform the DML update operation. Next. Uh, insert update will perform the delete operation. Why? Because in the insert, um, okay, let's go to the account. So we have so many test accounts will be there, right? So if my name contains test, like contains test means I want to delete all the records which the na name contains test. So that's my uh -huh. scenario. Okay. So you have uh -huh. to tell how we can perform. My scenario is if the account name contains test. Means I have to uh, delete those records. How we can do that? First, what we need to do? Delete failed. First exception. DML exception. That is the scenario which I have created. So that's the reason that it will be providing those things. Mm, for example, for some PLC, uh, it doesn't have any cases and all. Okay, let's create a new account uh, and we'll try to delete that one because I have created a flow. So that flow is restricting us to delete those records. Okay, let's take only one record where name is equal to just one. It will be is there, right? It's there, I think. Okay, so now oh, we won't find the, the test one. Test one has to be here. It's gone. So we can perform like that also. Right? So what is the point of uh, like adding those things into here and uh, like doing something? So that is uh, not the way. For example, if you do like that means first we are uh, iterating those records and we are iterating those records and we are adding those records into again into the list and we are doing the same thing twice. So to avoid that, we can perform directly. No problem, no issues. Okay, or so there is some situation that I want to, uh, uh, like I want to check uh, some conditions means that time you can uh, do those uh, things. Like, let me tell you what is the scenario. Just think about it. Let me think about it. So this is the actual correct thing. So where, come on, website, where, website. Is equal to this website. So I want to retrieve all the account records. So here I'm going to perform for loop account ACC um, my list my list. So inside of this, what I'm going to check if uh my like account name is that acc dot of name C dot of name is equals to um, test zero zero then i want to uh 
like i want to uh, if whatever the records have test 0 name is test 0 those records i want to delete did you get what i am going to do now so first for which records website is test website those records will add it to this my list so i am entering those my list so in this my list for the account the name is test 0 then i i have to like how many records have a name as a test 0 i want to delete those records for that i'm what i'm going to do means i'll be uh, creating another account uh, records to delete to delete is equal to new list new account list i'm going to create sorry list of accounts going to create now simply what i'm going to do means i just add these acc values for that dot of add acc now outside of this delete records to delete did you get this one ah yes understandable right so here yeah. what i'm going to do i am retrieving the account records which records website is test website now my list have the records which records website is test website so i'll be iterating those my list so one by one i'll be iterating i'll first record i'll be checking that acc date of name is test 0 or not if it is a 0 then that that record will add it to add it to records to delete if not it will it will skip this uh, block and uh, again second record uh, was assigned to acc then the second record it will check whether the name is test 0 or not so mm -hmm. if we have a test 0 means those records will get deleted so here we have only one record will be there let's add, add some other records so only test 0 only one record will be there right you uh, for that my website has to be test website then only it will work right and test 0 so th this is the name okay we have a two records with now we have a two records with test 0 test 0 and test 0 for the both the records website is test website only okay now let's execute this one I cannot find test zero here, right? It was deleted. deleted. Yeah, it was deleted. So this is about delete DML operation. Then so the next is undelete. Okay, how we can perform undelete operation? What is meant by undelete actually? So uh, it will retrieve data from recycle bin. Hmm. Right. It will so. retrieve the data from recycle. recycle how we can bin. retrieve the data from the recycle bin? Not In a SQL sure, queries not. by using SQL queries. how we can retrieve the data from recycle bin yesterday we have discussed this no yes in a sql queries we have discussed this. there is a keyword to retrieve the data from the recycle bin retrieve the data from the all like inside of um, like uh, the records which is available in our uh, like the records which is available in our uh, database and also the records which are available in a data uh, recycle bin also it will retrieve all the records those records will be in a my list saved into my list now records i'm not sure whether it's work or not let's check Uh, I have not performed any undelete operations. Okay, records to delete. Ah, 
Okay. My God, it's work. See, the test zero was came. So oh, the circle oh. query yesterday, what we have discussed means. Mm -hmm. That is it. Oh, okay. So it will retrieve the data which is available in the recycle bin also. Correct, so for correct. that, we'll be using all rows. So mm -hmm. now in my list, the data which is already like deleted. So those are there. So those are there. So we are uh, we are um, iterating those records and we'll check for test zero or not. If it is there means we are adding it to the list. Then the records we are end deleting. It. That means the record, if the records was deleted, it will undelete it. That means it will restore it to the database. Okay. So that is about undelete Operation. functionality. Okay. So today we have since so DML operations means insert, update, insert, update delete, delete, and delete operation. Okay. So here, one important thing I uh, I want to discuss. For example, let's consider uh, I'm going to insert. Previously, we have performed the insert operation, right? So I'm going to insert hundred records. So in that hundred records, uh, maybe for some reason, if those records, if that records was failed, means for example that hundred, uh, hundred I'm going to insert hundred records for some reason or uh, one the uh, like last 10 records was failed means what will happen means uh, the previous 90 records was there is no issues they are actually going to uh, like insert but those records also not uh, inserted into the database not committed to the database the entire transaction was rolled back yeah. 